right, guys, welcome back to some more Marvel Spider-Man. So we're going to be heading over and probably looting Lee's office over in Feast. See what kind of goodies he has. Um, first, let's go take out this warehouse since we are right next door to it. Oh, I thought that was the JJ sting. We're going to see about why Mr. Lee is uh, running the demons. Well, this just looks like a normal building. Breaking news just in. My sources tell me the police are now looking at the demons as the primary suspects in the city hall bomb. If that is in fact the case, I retract what I said about Spider-Man not being to blame. He would be, at the very least, partially responsible. Because the reckless manner in which Wilson Fisk was hey, brought down is this directly taken? created the void the demons poured into like the poison they are. Actions have consequences, my friends. And something Spider-Man never understood. Wow. Screw you, JJ. Off the building. Goodbye. Gotta get back in the habit of the swing kicks. So much for the opening act. Main events inside. All right. Right in. So we needed ten swing kicks and what did we need? Ten finishers. God, I hope not. That's a lot of guys we'd have to be fighting if we have to get ten of each. Yep. Okay. I'm at location number two. Can you believe these demons wear their masks just like? Walking around? Let's make for confusing staff meetings. I'll try to figure out their operation while you throw a wrench into it. Alright, so I'm gonna have to do ten finishers. We're gonna have to change up our suit a little bit. Let's get our supercharged suit power thing. Um, not slow time after perfect jaws. We need to... Oh, we still have challenge tokens to increase rate of Generations. Finishers generate bonus gadget refills. Alright, so let's do this combo. Is gadgets generate focus and focus generate, or finishers generate gadget refills. Um, ooh, we got some new ones. Uh, chance to generate gadget refills when taking damage. Interesting. Plasma Discharge Mesh Electrifies Suit Service, stunning enemies who touch it. it. Needs to recharge after activation. Uh, that's pretty cool. Alright, we'll make those since we have the ability to. But now we have a little bit more regeneration ability. We have a skill point. Do we have... Proves combat focus gained at higher combo counts. That'll help us out. Actually, we need to... Start working towards this one so we can do the uh, throw and ground strike stuff. Alright. Well, we've alerted them. I wonder if the perfect dodge counts as a uh, finisher, the triangle finisher after that. Well, this, at least the swing kicks are easy. They're actually really good on an indoor environment. Alright, let's finish you. Finisher! Ooh, does it count for double? It does! Nice. Man, I'm so glad I picked up that double finisher skill. Thank you, comments. Ow, 
stop hitting me. Oh no! Stash brokers! Oh, phew! Just notice the masks. Ow. Need more finishers. Ah, oh, shit. Hmm. This one's gonna be a little tricky to do. Just having to focus on, like, just building up for finishers. Ow. All right, there's a finisher. Ow. Okay, well, could have used that health. Ow! They keep attacking me while I'm in the middle of, like, an un... like, dodgeable combo. Put your ass down here. Oh, that's my suit stunning them. I was wondering where the electricity was coming from, if it was them or not, but no, it's my uh, suit bonus. Ow, and I was in a finisher! Okay, I suck at this. <sighs> I just need to focus on staying alive, and I'll get the finishers where I can. Now we can farm that guy for a bit. Okay, I got my 10. And let's get our finishers. Yeah, okay, so I just have to be very quick with hitting the finisher button after doing a finisher to get another one. There we go, okay. Nice. Yeah, that double finisher thing makes this oh, one no. really easy. Stockbrokers! Oh, phew! Just noticed the mask. Hey guys! Double finisher! Nine and ten. Nope. Seven and nine, or eight and nine. Yay, new guys! I'm sure you'll do way better than these guys just like you who I wiped the floor with. Peter, that business is listed 
used as an importer of computer parts. Huh. I didn't know they'd started making laptops out of guns. So it's a Marla? Not for long. I'm about to get some payback for Jeff Davis and everyone else they killed at City Hall. And now that I'm getting the hang of these battle finishers, like, it's a much better way to play. Damn it, broke my combo. Ow. Okay. New plan. Not dying. Hey, more gas! Come in, grab a chair. We're playing charades. It only took three tries to successfully do. Yeah, I was using my double finisher wrong, so MJ, this was a useful one to go to because I learned how to use it now. correctly. You didn't get too carried away, did you? What they did was horrible, but but you're not. I didn't get too carried away. I mean, I made them hit themselves a lot. And, you know, kind of threw them around a bit. Running along those halls, hold, hold, sir, uh, hold circle to whip around the corner. Yeah, I think I've done that a few times. All right, let's get going with this main mission. We've had our fun. Um, actually, is that our last? No, there's a couple pigeons left. All right. Well, we can just go straight. Actually, you know, what? I'm gonna go fast travel here. That way, just in case we have a radio thing when we get close to feast, before we go and uh, ransack his office. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love those bus transitions. Alright, let's scan for some crimes. Finally, we find a piece of the city that's peaceful. And down. This is Sable Control. What's the status of our position in Touchdown? Checking heavy fire from demons at Checkpoint uh. Delta. Alright, we gotta deal with the demons. Also, we need to put our suit back to normal. I'm gonna keep that battle version, because that's actually pretty good. Um, I do like having the extra damage when my health's over 100. Um, and we never actually did use any of our gadgets there, so... There we go. That's a pretty good base build. Alright, what does this crime need me to do? Throw five, web, throw five objects, perform two finishers. Has anyone else heard reports? <laughs> Out. 
Finishers! Oh shit, I'm missing a web throw. Oh, come on! There wasn't enough of them to do the web throws and the finishers on. Not quite the New York I remember. Ugh. Alright, whatever. Let's just get the hell over to where we need to be. Yeah, I think... Oh, I know what it is. You know, while it might be a good uh, suit upgrade, I think the extra damage is actually playing against me. Uh, slows time after perfect dodge. Web attacks generate more focus. Um, I don't know. It's a good general one. Just increase our scanning range. Why not? You know what? No, let's take the slow time. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, I think we're just doing too much raw damage now, so it's... Oh, damn it! Harder to do these things. Just want to go to feast, but I gotta protect Aunt May, taking out the crimes in this area of the city. Alright, what do we need? Web four enemies to a wall, use air launch move on four enemies. A couple more cool outfits and we can start a pro wrestling league. Woo! Web came to the floor. Damn it. Stop ruining my web throws. Ow. God damn it, Sable. Yeah, he's to a wall. Ow. Throw him against the wall. Stop shooting me, Sable. Hey, we managed to do it as we were getting our ass kicked at the end. Next time, don't shoot me. Where half the time I was getting hit from Sable, other half the time I was getting hit from the stupid demons. Alright. No more crimes. Let's go inside Feast and investigate. Seriously, might want to consider investing in that reduced damage from bullets add-on to the suit. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? <laughs> Me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Right, we're gonna hook Miles Why up with Why does that sound Beast. familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. Oh, right, Doc oh. said he had a whole bunch of, like, breakthroughs in funding and stuff. We haven't been back to the lab in, jeez, ages. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you have more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. Ow. That hurts a little bit. Any news with you guys? Anyone want to say anything? Shout out, hey, Peter. Mr. Lee would come back. He always knew what to do. 
Hey, Aunt May's doing a good job. Everything seems to be under control here. Hmm. May kept Uncle Ben's clothes a long time. It's like he was still looking out for her. I knew a man who panhandled around City Hall. Still haven't seen him. Oh. Got caught in the blast. That's not good. Where goes the chess game? Is this the same game or a different one? They blur together. I get tired of winning. You mean tired of me winning? Hey, Eileen, May said your daughter reached out. Yeah. She was worried I died in the blast and wants to reconnect. I don't know. It never worked out before. You gotta take these things slow. Rebuild the trust. It'll work. I know it. Be nice if something good came from this. I'm really invested in these guys' side story. If there's ever a mission I can help out with to do it. Peter, you're okay. Oh, I'm so relieved. May was really worried. I know, but I'm fine. Didn't that happen like a week ago? I guess I haven't been back in because I was recovering and everything. Although I have like super healing. Should have been back in like the next day. Can't leave without checking out Lee's office. Well, Peter's single and I'm single. I mean, what's wrong with a May-December romance? What's wrong is that it's more like January, December. Whoa, 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 whoa. May, December romance that, like, I'm young and you're old. D -d -d oh. Well, okay then. If MJ doesn't work out, you know. Uh, these are all the things I've looked at before. I love the random little bits of dialogue. The deputy mayor was brainwashed. Oh yeah, the deputy mayor did blow himself up. He was the one on the podium that uh, our police friend pushed. Anything going on up here, guys? Peter, thank God, I was afraid you were seriously hurt. I got lucky. You know, they have a lot of inefficiency of space use because they have like two floors of lunchroom. You said you were at the bombing. I was praying for you. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Such nice folks here. Oh. Hey! <gasps> Spills cleaned, one of three. There's a secret side mission that we didn't know about. All right. Kill people randomly. Everyone watch out. Spider Cop is taking the day off. It is time for Spider Janitor. No Nick, dust and dirt. Too hard. Tell her to take the day off. Oh, thank you. But no dirt and dust shall escape my vigilant search for justice. I don't feel safe anymore. Well, I'm sorry about that, sir, but I'm on a mission. Aha! I love how there's, like, literally nothing that suggests you can do this other than me wandering around and seeing hey, things. Don't worry. They'll find who did this. I hope so. Ah, oh, there's the last one. You know what's going on with the lunch tables? No more just snippets of conversation? Hey, where are you at City Hall for the bombing? You okay? I'm just a little banged up. How are you doing? Not bad. Your aunt's been helping me with my interview skills. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm cut out for the nine to five. I know I've had my share of career hurdles, but you never know until you try. Give it a shot. No. You're so helpful and supportive. I also didn't realize that cutscene ended, so we just stood there awkwardly staring at each other. Hey, spills th clean. Three of three. Did we get any bonus for doing that? Just a random little thing, but I'm glad we could help out a little bit. You want me to call Mrs. Morales first? I'll be fine. I suspect she'll be relieved to talk to someone who's been there. Okay. Well, no reward or anything for cleaning up other than the satisfaction of knowing we did a good job. Anything? Nope. And that's all the people to talk to. All right, let's go investigate the office. Hmm, this office is locked. 
How do I get in there? Quietly. Ah. Like no one is gonna. Okay, you guys stop staring over this vent one. somewhere. Yeah, there's a vent. Those guys are kind of looking in this direction. They're gonna watch me zip up into the vent. Yeah, no one noticed that because we were super sneaky. Huh. Never seen that room before. What do we got? Damn it, I can't see the room. Oh. Yes, it, it just looks like a room. Why do I hear electricity? That doesn't seem good. There's some like faulty wiring going on up here. Yep. Whoa, what the high voltage lines. What needs this much power? There. That's not good. I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. Oh no. Sounds like trouble. What would Ben do? Aww. Lee's office is the other way. Which means I need to snoop this way. Well, that's the way out. At least we know uh, we have a quick exit in case we need to uh, duck out of the vents. Right into the biggest, most crowded spot of everybody. Alright, that's Lee's office. Is there any other... Nope, that's the only side area we can go to. Alright. Investigate Lee's office. That room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Aw. Looks like Mr. Lee and his wife? Lee's parents. Oh, parents. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. Oh, yeah, look at that, right on the right-hand side. Lee's parents abandoned him. Why build a shrine to the people who threw you away? Well, I think I just figured out the reason why Mr. Lee hates Osborne so much. Something Oscorp did got Lee's parents killed, and he wants revenge. That seems pretty clear-cut. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Remember the old man said... Oh. Remember the old man said only balance can master the demon's strength. Without balance, the monster will turn in on anyone who attempts to control it. Huh. Let's avoid his desk for now, because that seems important. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. Let's see. Recognition of your ability to force a pass all duties. Outstanding Employer of the Year. Appreciation of Feast. Look at all the Feast awards. Holy shit. He's got some cool little swords. Damn. Anything secret on the notebooks? No? Come on, we're gonna snoop. We should snoop. You look at the coffee. Oh. Lee's journal. Ah, Wilson Fisk has been arrested. I can barely believe it. Oh. Bet this fits the lock in the portrait. The day I planned for, dreamed of, is finally here. But for some reason, I hesitate. Can I return? Or can I really go through with this? Oh. Thank you. Much easier to read that. Uh, can I really go through with this? Things will happen so... Quickly, if I give the word, my men will claim Fisk's arms, his explosives, his secrets. We'll use that strength to teach Norman he true pain. Conflicted. He'll know what it is to see the things he loved destroyed by his own hands. But achieving that end will mean giving up so much. Everything I built here at Feast, all the good I've done, could be wiped out if my plan succeeds. My chance is finally here, yet still I hesitate. Should I turn back? A part of me wants to, but the demon is hungry, and I don't think I'm strong enough to hold it back. Interesting. Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Interesting. 
All right, so we need to make the yin and yang. Uh, anything else to look at over here by the table before we try it? Nope, looks like swords, swords, nope. All right. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. Yep, okay, so we have to figure out some way of taking this to make a yin and yang symbol. It's a really cool little locking mechanism thing. All right, so we have to remove this. That seems right. Okay. You need balance. Oh, I see. So if you do equal things to both sides, and then... Yes. Rotate it around. That's actually, like, a really shitty, like, lock system, because, I mean, like, what else is it going to make? What are you hiding, Lee? Investigates Lee's secret room. This is an interesting room. Like, nobody has noticed this room down in that storeroom down below. What's he doing over here? He's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Hmm. Interesting. Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Interesting. Pretended to be a demon until he became one. Not gonna be able to look at anything else here. All right. Obviously, once we go check out that table, so let's see what else we've got here. This is all about Norman Osborne. His whole career. Well, he must have been obsessed with him. All right, start with little money and less experience with drawing attention to venture capitalists. Osborne announces re-election. Fisk donation to Osborne's campaign He was questions. keeping tabs on Wilson Fisk, too. Trying to predict when he'd fall. Osborne lost a lawsuit about improper clinical trials years ago. Did they cover this up? I've never heard of it. Interesting. No evidence of wrongdoing, claims Mayor Osborne. The kids Oscorp saved, Future of Innovation, announces Halloween Parade, new scholarship award winners. No disease we can't eventually cure. Osborne's economic plan will worsen poverty. Let's see. No one would argue that Norman Osborn has been one of New York City's greatest benefactors, but good intentions and deep pockets cannot save the city's homeless, or solve the city's homeless crisis. Something local, it is really, really blurry after that point. It is, I don't even think half of that is in English. Nope, they only wrote the first paragraph. Everything else is random stuff. Yeah, it's not even in English. Norman Oswald's not going to undoubtedly benefit the upper, middle and upper class, but those who are struggling will be left behind. Wins Rocks and Science this Award. This article is decades old. It must be back when Oscorp was first founded. Hmm. Anything else? I'm just going to scan over the board to see if it triggers another message or anything. He's very obsessed, though. Oscorp IPO, military contracts. Start makes a splash. One hit wonder. Interesting. What the hell did Oscorp do that hurt Mr. Lee? Whoa. This is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Yeah, let's take that. Creepy. Huh. The negative version of the picture of him or his parents. All right, and tape recorder. I can feel my power growing, feeding off my anger. 
Father would say I've lost the path of balance that he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. Okay, then. Anything on the back? Nope. Alright. Oh, shit. It's a burn room. Wired to destroy evidence. Well, let's stop it from destroying the evidence. Good thing I saw some of these boxes on the way in. Where's number three? Oh, I have to hit it three times. The police had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. Well, the good news is I don't think they managed to destroy the evidence or anything. Also, why would you have a burn room? Set it up just to electrify the floor. Okay, through the floor grate. But then your entire obsessive wall of everything is still intact. Your tape recorders and your notes on the table are still intact. Like, I'd have had flamethrowers all over the goddamn place and, like, really hid the room. Can I just <gasps> jump off? Oh. That's an easy now, way out. How do I get out of here? Is there anything interesting down here? Oof. God, that makes it hard to see. Alright. No one's noticed this random storage room being blocked off by something? I think Beast could use all the room it can get. Hello, Peter. Hello, Mr. Lee. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Oh, yeah. Martin, you're back. You get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Oh, I'm very much well, not. What matters is, you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Oh, ooh, ooh, big subtext there. I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Damn, if we had only done this in our spider suit, we would have had him right then and there. Oh, jeez. Wait, wait, wait. Wow, he would attack Peter. Yeah, you should have probably clarified that you're not an Osborne fan. Boy, and Sable, being super observant, is right down the block. Alright, hidden agenda complete. Captain Watanabe. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack plant. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. It sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey, just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. 
How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Okay, Wait, what is MJ you up to? You told me about Lee's corrupting touch. I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? <sighs> what should I cook? Well, let's just try not to burn her kitchen down, apparently, since that's what we did the last time we cooked. Pigeon target acquired. Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Hey, Doc. Doctor, exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like, now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. I guess I can stop by just for a minute. Sweet. Something cool's going on with the dock. We got that Burt Bird through a wall, so. What's your status? Control. Rooftop outpost under fire from demons. Alright, we got a demon crime to handle over here. What do we got? Air throw, three enemies. Okay, air throw, that was a... Ooh, there's new suits. We do have new suits. We don't have challenge tokens. But, we don't have challenge tokens. Impact web cascade. Enemies knocked back to the impact web will spread their webbing to enemies they collide with. Ooh, that's cool. Um, can't upgrade that. Can't upgrade that. We don't have challenge tokens. Don't have challenge tokens. Oop. What is this one? Suspension Matrix. Lifts enemies into the air and holds them there for a short duration. Needs challenge tokens. Alright, so apparently challenge tokens are our next big gatherable thing. Um, but hey, oh, we're one level away from getting that ground strike, so we could do that one lab mission. Alright, what was I doing? I was looking for air throw. Right, that's where I have to put them up in the air and then hold triangle? Yeah, okay. Hey, JJ. I used to think you were exaggerating the danger to this. You guys stop for just a minute. Ow. Okay, that guy just shot him. Shot up post with that rocket. There we go. Ow. Okay, you know what? Getting rid of this shield. Mine. Woo! That was a rocket. Okay, just fall off the building on his own? No. Damn it! I just pulled that off of you. There we go. That's two. And that was a rocket to the face. Woo! Come on, give me that rocket. You can go up in the air. And web throw. Ow. It'd be real nice if these weren't EMP rockets. Also, if Sable would just fuck off for a minute. Now I can just kick your ass. And 
stay down. All right, that was I know I did your job a pain in the ass. Air throws. Not convenient when being shot at. All right, that is the office. Um, I'm going to go open up this research station because it's just right... It's actually not right nearby. Screw it. More progress. Let's see what Doc Ock has got going on. Is he evil yet? Have we helped him? Has doing all of our little side mission-y things kept him on the path of good and righteousness? Is he our sidekick? That'd actually be kind of cool. Let's see what we got. Anything else around here to mess around with? Nope. At least we can run now in this section now that I know that I can use that use the right trigger to run. Hey doctor. Hello, Peter. Ooh, we got How new we stuff. Got Look at all this new stuff. All right, let's uh, snoop around a little bit. Man, I remember the first day I interviewed here. Showed up with stains on my shirt, 10 minutes late from stopping a mugging. Still can't believe Doc hired me. Hope he doesn't regret it now. All right, let's see what his note is. In some sad, sick way, the city hall attack may have done some good. Norman's approval ratings are sinking. The people are starting to realize their beloved mayor only cares about himself. Sometimes it takes a tragedy to wake people up to the truth, to finally see the monster they themselves elected. Wish Doc wouldn't fixate on Norman like this. Yeah, that's uh, not a good sign for the not becoming a supervillain thing. Really glad Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter, I noticed you keep track of Spider-Man's foes. Smart. Easier to craft countermeasures that way. Yes, yes, his foes, yes. Oh, cool, we can actually look at each thing. that humorless grimace. Last time I fought Scorpion, he asked if I knew what my skull looked like from the inside. Then offered to show me. Super fun guy. Wow. Electro was the first legit super-powered villain I fought. Till then, it had been regular guys in fancy suits. Electro was a big change. Why do I have a feeling change. that these are, uh... Basically a hit list of all the people I'm fighting this game. Mob enforcer turned walking tank. Rhino's racked up enough property damage to destroy Manhattan three times over. Damn. Vulture might be the smartest guy up on this wall. Not smart enough to duck three consecutive life sentences, of course, but still pretty brainy. Look at any of these other ones. Nope. Nice little bit of side knowledge. Anything else we got going on in here? Nope. A lot of exercise balls and stuff. Wait, did we actually... Oh, they're, they're rooted to the ground. I was like, did we have physics? I'm going to kick this ball all over the lab. Break some stuff. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Well then, Doc. I'm both excited and nervous to see what's in store. Do we have better coffee? Lots of late nights in this lab. Glad Doc keeps the snacks stocked up. We should get more of those little cheese squares, though. Ooh, cheese squares. Those are tasty. wonder if I could 3D print a web shooter. I can't Holy. believe I've never tried that. Holy shit, that's what this is? That is a bank of 3D printers. Like, damn, that's a lot of 3D printing power. Anything about that? No? What is that, an engine? Compact jet engine. Quick release needle. What the hell is Doc working on? 
Oh, we got another tape recorder. Parker, we've been focused on limb replacement. Connecting nerves at severed extremities, replicating the function of lost appendages. But what if instead, we gave people something they've never seen? Something straight from the mind. Unchain all of us from the bodies we've been born with, and instead, unleash the awesome power of our minds. Okay, that doesn't sound like super villainy at all. All right, let's see if we can do some of these, because maybe this will keep Doc from being evil. And they are not, they don't take too long. Running tests on carbon nanotube biocompatibility. I feel like, like, if Doc is injured while in his octo suit, he might be more likely to become evil, but if he's not injured, he might become a good person? I don't know. I still feel like there's, like, a moral choice here that I'm, like, helping out with, but we'll see. Uh, that one, and that one? Nope, not enough lines. We need that one. These are getting kind of tricky, actually. There we go. What do we got this time? Diphenyl tetrazoleum bromide. But I feel like we can do better. Yeah, most bromides are not exactly the healthiest thing to be messing with. Hmm, graphene. But the structure is super unique. What is this? Yeah, what the hell? This is a complicated one. Alright, we need... Okay, that one's done. Uh, we need two... That position. Maybe this one? Hmm. The hell? Aha! Okay. These are getting complicated that I can't just, like, straight up look at them and have them solved instantly oh, in my awesome. head. It's been nano-latticed. Wow, that's strong. Could be a great structural element for a prosthetic. Okay, so maybe we're helping Doc out by making him even stronger. Okay, maybe we're actually making him more potent of a villain. Doc's messing around with superconductors. Alright, we need... Lots and lots of... Okay, I see this one. So we need three points on that one. Oop, wrong one. We need this one. Yeah. And then we need two points on the far edge. We can go this way. And... This one. Nope, that doesn't cancel out the right one. Okay, these are getting really, really tricky now. Uh, yes. Aha! See it? All right, there we go. What substance is this? Lead zirconate Very cool. titanate. Complex oxide ceramic. Perfect type 2 superconductor. It'll run hot, but maybe good for an outboard controller? Okay. That's a little worrying. 
But I mean, maybe it'll have his legs blow Some up at the wrong polymer. time. Um, okay. We need something heavy focus here. And this one. And we need to focus down. Okay, we need this one. Then we take off those two lines, and then we double up and remove. Okay. And then we just take front and back. Boom! Polymethyl... Methylate? Awesome. Meth this stuff will survive almost anything. Damn! And we can't do those ones yet. Self-healing polymers. That's a little worrying for Doc to have. And we can't do any circuit problems, apparently. Anything over here before, uh... Oh. Aha! Damn it. Didn't realize I could do Why that. Why do I keep repeating the same mistake over and over? Norman Osborne cannot be trusted. In matters large and small, if Norman has the chance to profit off another man's loss, he'll take it. It's infuriating. Someday I'll turn the tables. I'll teach Norman what it is to feel helpless and small. Doc must have more history with Norman than he shared. Bum bum ba bum. All right, let's see what this is, and then wrap up You're our episode. Busy. Just getting started. You know, until now we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. Ready? All right, let's see what we got. <laughs> oh, 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 that's not good. Everything okay? Oh, this Doc. This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Ooh, temper. That's not a good sign. I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. All right, so that's why you couldn't let it win less DVs. Diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. All right. Incorrect voltage. Ah, okay. Huh. No good. Got to reroute this circuit. All right, so I can't change those. So what do we need? We need a five. 
how about a plus four, a plus five, and a minus four. And then we'll remove that. Take out all of these things that we can take out. And route this over this way. Yep. Boom! Oh, target voltage. That was all it took? Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? Oh, you hurt your arm, Doc? I notice how you gave the robot arm my coffee. We did it. Next step. Why would you interface. fill it up? That's that a lot seems of work bad. You do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still. I know. It's okay. Don't worry. I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. See, Doc, you can be good. Don't be evil. Let's call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. Ah, now it's letting us access. Oop, there's something new over here. Advanced idea mechanics. Doc, are you sure it's a good idea to accept grants from AIM? Their rep is pretty shady. Beggars can't be choosers, Peter. Once we're on our feet, we'll reevaluate our funding partners. Okay, that's worrying. So maybe Doc won't go evil, but someone will use his work for evil? Doc really does want to imagine a better version of man. Neural interface would be a big step, Doc. Big, yes, but essential. If our prosthesis is anything less than effortless to use, we'll have failed. We'll get there, Peter. We have to. Well then, all right, let's see if we can't clean up some of this stuff so that hopefully the doc doesn't have any failures and he keeps his anger in check and maybe becomes a good guy. Cool. Logic controller for the micro cables doc's been theorizing. All right, plus four. How are we going to do that? Uh, do a minus one and a plus two. We're just going to ignore this one. Oh. We don't have any straight pieces, so we have to actually weave this thing through both. Which means this needs to be a plus three. And this has to be another minus one. Ah, damn it! Wrong button. Cool. Logic controller for the micro cables Doc's been theorizing. Or we could just do a one and a two. That's plus six. Nope. One and a. No. Cancel. One and a one. All right. All right. So we have to go all the way up and around. Rid of the restrictive ones when it's easy. And just weave this in the longest, most convoluted part possible. You know, we might actually have better success with these things if we just bought some better parts so we could just connect these circuits without having to go on weird tangents. These things are awesome. So much more versatile than traditional fixed axis designs. Simple AI that'll improve the prosthetics functionality over time. Oh yes, let's make it intelligent. That doesn't seem to be a stupid idea. All right, we need a plus four. Or no, plus two. So plus four, plus three, which means we need a minus five. And do, 
Oh, can't go straight here. We have to go around. Straight down through here, then around. There we go. Now the prosthetic has a tiny brain. Cool. And a little creepy. Yeah, a little bit. Stage one intracranial interface. All right. Oh. I dove right in with the intracranial interface. That's a little bit more complicated. All right, can we pop any of these pieces out? No. So we're stuck with what we got. All right, well, I don't know why he's got this piece over here. It's not even connected to anything, so bravo, Doc. You're already doing such a great job. This one's back... Backwards. No, okay, this is the end point. Okay. Alright, so we need a plus three overall, and it looks like we're probably going to go through everything. So, we need to neutralize what we do. We got a minus three... All right, so let's do a plus three, a minus three. Let's actually change this down to a plus two. No, how are we gonna do this? Yeah, okay, I see how we do this. A T intersection? Oh my God, we're getting complicated. Um. Hmm. Does it care if I do it that way? Okay, it doesn't seem to care if I put them in the wrong spot, so they're not functional, but that's fine. And then we go up around the corner. We don't even need to go into that one, because right now we're at zero, and we'll get plus three if we just hook it into the end, so we can just skip the entire rest of this circuit. Revolutionary. Damn. Not 100% stable. We need to refine this design. Okay, so that may be an issue. It gets unstable, and it drives the professor insane? All right, anything else to do before we leave the lab? All right. So this looks like a good point to save it, so... uh What's what? Something going on, Peter? You know, the micro cables we use to simulate musculature could easily be arranged into simple shapes. Wrenches, hammers, a toolbox literally at your fingertips. Don't know if I'm comfortable with some of these funding sources. All science is built on risk. Better to embrace it than run from it. All right. Sure, Doc. All right, that looks like everything. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, there was something else. There was one more thing. It was with the 3D printer things. Let me go back inside. Damn it, that, I noticed that at the last second inside there. Oh, probably got a phone call or something to deal with. No? No JJ? Oh, there's a phone hey, call. sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but... Yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. Well, that'll be interesting. Also, we leveled up, which means... We can buy our ground strike. Alright, so how do we use that? Not that I'm going to remember by the time I get a chance to use it, but... Ground strike. Square plus X. Alright. Leaping off an enemy or from air combat from square plus X smash ground can be formed from the air at higher elevations. Blast range damage increase when used from higher elevation. All, All right. right, dinner at MJ's. Low expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. Guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls.
All right, so let's go see what exactly the dock was working on and then use that as a good save point. See if this will let me see what we're missing. I'm kind of curious what the doctor's been doing with the 3D printers. I don't think you'd be able to do something as complex as, like, an arm musculature thing with a 3D printer, but maybe you can. I already finished those. It was over here. Oh, nope, they're gone. Shit. Oh, well. Alright, well, I think this is a good place to call it, so leave a like if you guys enjoyed, subscribe for more, and thank you once again to the patrons on Patreon for making this series possible. We'll see you next time with more Spider-Man. Goodbye.